Hello and welcome to the Student WebEx demo session. My name is Emily and I work here at Temple's Distance Learning and Summer Program. So for those of you who missed the demo sessions or need to go back and refresh your memory on how to operate your WebEx, we are providing this tutorial session recording. So let's get started. This is what you'll see when the WebEx session first appears on your screen. To the right is the participant box right here. And this is meant to show the people who are in the classroom with you, including your instructor or host. Below the participant box is the chat box. And this is useful if you would like to bring up a question or comment in the class. The chat box also gives you the option of writing to whoever you'd like, or you could write to the entire class. Right here is the drop-down menu, and below that is the type text box. And if you just click on the text box right here, you'll be able to type in your message. In WebEx, it's important to test your audio before you begin your class. And to do so, you would have to click on this audio button on the left-hand side of your screen. It will bring you to a box that will ask you to test your microphone and your speakers. But before you do so, make sure that your microphone is not muted. If it's muted, it's the button on the right-hand side next to your video button will be red, and you won't be able to test your microphone. After you click audio and ask to test, this will appear on your screen. The green modulating bars right here on your microphone will indicate that your microphone is working. Next, you would have to test your speakers. Right up here is the speaker test box. It's also important to make sure that your microphone and your speaker are connected to the right options. And those can be listed right on these drop-down box menus. To test your microphone, simply hit the test button on the right-hand side of the drop-down box menu. Below, the microphone, again, should appear on the green modulating bars right here. We already covered mute a little bit, but I wanted to point it out one more time. This is what it would look like if your microphone was muted. This box right here is red, and the headset has an X right next to it. Next up are the polling options. These are pretty straightforward. They're indicated below the participant's box. To the left, you have a raised hand, and next to that are polling questions. These could be answers to yes or no questions, usually proctored by professors. And then to the right of that is the emoticon button. Emoticons are a great way to interact with a student. If a student in your class is giving a presentation, there's one for clapping hands to show your appreciation, or if you want to add a smiley face to something or a sad face to something, you're able to do that as well. Next up is the video. The video should appear right next to your microphone button. Um, when it's turned on, the video will be green. The ball right here indicates that the person who is speaking right now is the host. Usually that's indicated right next to their name as well. The instructor is usually the host of your session, but the instructor has the ability to pass the ball over to one of the students so that the student can share the desktop or share a presentation. This is what would happen if you share your desktop. You will see this desktop floating panel right here. And this is an example of what you would see. The floating panel is indicated right on the top, so if you just move your cursor right up, you'll see the box right here. And then also you have the option of bringing out your chat box and your participants box so that you can still interact with your class and faculty right on the screen. Okay, just a couple ending notes. If you are enrolled in an online class, you are immediately part of the distance learning community. That means you have access to our newsletters and any tutorial videos that you might be interested in learning about. If you're not listed in the Blackboard Distance Learning Community. Let us know and we can register for you. Thank you for attending and the best of luck with your classes. And if you have any questions or concerns, our office number is right here and our online 
email is right here. I also provided the numbers for the WebEx tech support right below here and the help desk from Temple University right here. So if you run into any issues or problems with your WebEx or with your computer in general, these two numbers will be able to help. Thank you and the best of luck to you.